So my name is Jason Brophy. I'm an infectious disease specialist for children at the Children's Hospital in Ottawa. Um, and I've been working with the CTN since my fellowship uh, in 2005 to 7. Um, so the project that we're talking about is uh, called Bone and Renal Outcomes in Tenofovir Exposed Infants. Um, and it's a sub called the, the Karma 7 study. Um, and so basically, it centers around the idea that um, traditionally women have been who are pregnant with HIV have been treated with sodovudine based or AZT based uh, antiretroviral treatment. Uh, and that's the drug we probably have the most experience with and it remains the treatment of choice uh, or the, the best first line regimen that's recommended by most experts uh, when a woman is infected and pregnant. Um, but what we've seen over time is that uh, the treatment recommendations for adults have diverged a lot from, from the original recommendation for zodavidine-based uh, therapy. And so now, first-line treatment for adults, including women, uh, would be a tenofovir-based regimen. Um, and so some women are going to get pregnant after they've been started on that treatment, and some women are going to get pregnant and get, get diagnosed with HIV and started on treatment afterwards. Uh, and some women uh, won't want to take zidovudine or won't be able to take zidovudine for various reasons. Either uh, their virus is resistant to it or uh, they have other infections like hepatitis B that may be better treated with tenofovir, which would get both, tr both viruses uh, at once. Uh, or maybe their virus is resistant. Um, so, or maybe they just like to have a once a day regimen. Uh, so all those things kind of have influenced the fact that um, we've changed our approach to treating women uh, with HIV when they're pregnant. Uh, the, why is this a big deal? It's because um, tenofovir is known to cause certain side effects uh, in adults who are treated with it, uh, including bone problems and kidney problems. Um, there's some animal, animal data from uh, the early studies with tenofovir that suggests that those drugs may affect developing fetuses uh, with respect to bone and kidney health. Uh, and really there hasn't been a study that's looked at, is there any even subtle impact on kidneys and bones in um, babies who are exposed in utero? So that's the purpose of this study.